Okay, we're going to look at the lab safety poster project. Uh, we usually do this in unit zero. We're going to look at what the points come from on this, as well as uh, a way we can do this in Google Slides. Okay, kind of to go paperless. Okay, so first off, um, you will be getting a topic um, somehow, either uh, by you know, pulling it out of a hat or being assigned it, um, something like that. Um, if you don't have a topic already, uh, like if you haven't been in school and you're doing this from home, um, then send me an email or a Schoology message and I can send that to you. Uh, your poster should have um, some three main things that fit along with this topic. So let's say, for example, your lab safety topic is you have to wear goggles at all times in the lab. So First, you got to have words that fit your topic. So something along the lines of, you know, you have to be wearing goggles in the lab. Um, second, you got to have pictures that fit the topic. So maybe it's a scientist wearing goggles or a student wearing goggles, student scientist. It could just be a picture of goggles or it could be, um, you know, something along those lines. Um, but it's got to fit the topic. You know, you might have a, a really cool dog. Um, and I, I bet the pictures of your dog are great, but, um, you know, unless your dog is wearing goggles, maybe not the best thing to put on your poster for now. Okay. Um, so make sure you have words and pictures, not just one or the other, um, and make sure you're accurately showing your topic with your words and pictures. So, you know, if you just slap a picture of goggles on there and then, uh, you say, you know, goggles are only necessary when you feel like it. Well, that's not really uh, the right kind of uh, safety advice to be putting on your poster. So uh, make sure that you accurately um, display your topic. You should also make your poster clear. It should be nice and concise. So a good poster should be easy to read from far away. So make sure the words are large. Don't be typing in very tiny font or writing in very small letters. Um, if you're doing this on paper, have your handwriting be nice, you know, take your time with it, use a stencil, do something so that it can be legible, okay? And if you are using a computer for this, if you're doing this on Google Slides, um, then make sure the font is readable. You know, don't go for something that looks like, you know, a 1700s Victorian uh, love letter um, where it's got 15,000 spirals and it's all italics and, you know, it, you got to be able to read it from far away. So make sure it's um, nice and clear cut and simple to see and read. And uh, get the point across, okay? Um, if your poster is confusing in how you present it, uh, if it's uh, too abstract, then, um, you know, people might not get it and it's not going to be an effective web safety poster. All right. Two more points for your project come from the use of the space. Okay, so make sure not to like leave most of the page empty, spread your stuff out, make your words nice and big, make your pictures nice and big um, so that you cover the area. Um, but also make sure not to cram your lab safety poster. Um, if your poster topic is to wear goggles in the lab, um, I wouldn't recommend finding 30 different pictures of goggles and trying to fit them all in the same poster on the same Google slide or whatever you're using. It, it's just not going to fit well. It's going to be too uh, busy, as we say in the art biz. So, you know, try stuff out, move things around, um, especially if you're doing it on the computer. It's a lot easier to try stuff, edit, make it bigger, smaller, things like that. And our last two points come from creativity. So you know, don't just leave things black and white. Um, I like to have these up in my classroom and out in the hallway, um, whether they're already on paper or I print them out. Um, so use a lot of color. Um, make them interesting. Don't just write the topic you have in big letters and leave it at that. Um, and you know, maybe make it a little bit fun. You know, make something rhyme or make a pun. You know, do something else kind of funny. Um, I like to make mine kind of snarky. Uh, so here are two of my uh, kind of favorite lab posters that I've seen um, from the uh, uh, science materials company Flynn. Here's the first one. Oh wait, no, this sorry. This is the overview of the rubric. So this is this is your ten points on the project. So three points from the topic, three points for clarity, two points for the use of space, and two points for creativity. Okay, now. 
my two favorite lab safety posters to be some good examples for you. Carol never wore safety goggles. Now she doesn't need them. Because, you know, she's blind now. Because, yeah. Ah. So, you know, kind of it's kind of dark, kind of snarky. Um, you know, words are nice and big. Um, easy to read, big block letters, big bold letters. Um, you know, the graphics nice and simple. It uses up the space. She's not just a little, you know, down in the corner or something like that. Um, straightforward, right to the point. Um, sends the message and sends it well. And here's another one of my favorites, kind of in the, in the same vein. So we got Braille here and wear your safety goggles. And it says, which would you rather read? So the Braille version or the, uh, you know, text version. Um, and this, of course, would work better if you actually had a physical copy of the poster because then the dots would be raised and you could feel them, uh, you know, instead of being a flat digital image. But anyway, um, same kind of idea, you know, do you want to be blind or you want to, you know, be able to read stuff because you still have your eyes. And again, straight to the point, nice and simple, um, easy to read from far away, uh, you know, good kind of example. So now, I'm going to look at how we could make something like this in Google Slides. Okay, I'm going to show you some examples of how you can kind of build your lab safety poster in Google Slides. Um, first off, to get to Google Slides, um, there are a couple different ways you can get to it. You can open up a new tab and look in your little Google waffle icon, um, and that should be in there with other stuff. Um, you could... Uh, Go down, if you've got a Chromebook, down to the bottom of the screen, and there should be a little yellow icon that looks like this. That'll take you to your slides, your Google Slides. You can also just Google Google Slides, and it should direct you to the place you need to go. Either way, um, we're at Google Slides. I'm going to name this, I'll just do uh, Lab Safety Poster Project. But as long as it's a name you can find, um, you know, it'll be submitted on Schoology anyway. I'll be able to find it pretty easily. Okay. Um, now, some things I want here. I want to have a topic. Um, so if you don't already have one from Mr. McCord um, and you're watching this, uh, make sure you send him a message on Schoology or an email would be even better um, so he can give you one. Um, we want to have words and pictures that go along kind of with uh, our topic. Um, and we got to make it an interesting poster. So let's say that my topic is something like um, you got to put lids back on containers when you're done with them. Um, otherwise, stuff can get in the container and contaminate it. Um, sometimes um, vapors and gases can get out of the container. Um, and it can be bad for you. Um, so I'm going to go from that angle that we don't want um, you know, harmful fumes and gases getting out of um, containers. So see for now i'm just gonna to kind of give myself uh say uh put lids back on containers exclamation point now is that super exciting eh, it's not really it's not really funny it's not really eye-catching but it, it's my topic so I'm, i can come back to this later to, to make it a little more exciting okay i could bold it to make it stand out a little bit better. Or I could italicize it and things like that. Um, now you also might look through some of these themes on the right side to kind of jump to something that um, gives you the style that you want. Um, so let's see if one of them sticks out to me. Uh, this one's pretty good. I like this. I like kind of the dark background and the white letters kind of pop off of it. So I want to make these even a little bit bigger. And so they stand out a little bit. Um, I'm going to get rid of this other text box. So I don't really need it right now. And the dots are just going to be there. So I might end up covering this up with a picture later. Um, now, I can throw in images from Google. Um, if you find a Google image, you just click and drag on it. Um, go up to your uh, tab 
for your Google slide and then drop it straight into your presentation and it goes from there. Um, you can also insert images. I go into insert and you can say image. You can upload it from your computer. You can search the web. If it's a picture in your drive, you can get it from there. Get it from a URL. You can take a picture, you know, get it from photos, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build a basic thing. So I wanna just build a bottle out of some basic shapes. So I think I'm gonna start with kind of a looks like a rounded rectangle. So I'm gonna do something like this. All right, so there's my rectangle. And it's got a little bit of rounding at the top, so it's got kind of like that top edge of a bottle. Well, I'm also gonna put that on the bottom. There's this little yellow circle that I can mess with to kind of give that a little bit of a kind of a little bottom curve there. Because usually a bottle on the bottom is not perfectly flat. Okay. Um, my bottle's gonna have, you know, kind of a little opening at the top. So I'm gonna do another kind of rectangle. A rounded rectangle. Just kind of put that on top of there. Same kind of thing. Um, and it will tell me with this red line that I've got it centered up on my bottle there. So that's good. You can change the color. So if I didn't want this gray, I could change the fill color to just like solid white. white, something like that. I can change the line color on the outside. So maybe I don't want a line color on this. I can make it transparent or white also. So that way it kind of looks like all one object, stuff like that. You can also do gradients. Um, so let's say I want to make a liquid on the inside. Um, I'm going to do another rounded rectangle. I'm going to do one like this. I want to put it kind of on the inside here. I think that maybe is a little too big, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit like this. Okay. So I want this to look like a liquid on the inside of my bottle, so I'm going to color it. I want to do something kind of chemistry-like, so I'm going to do like a like a like a deep blue, not like a water blue, but like a deep blue or something like that. Yeah, that looks kind of special. Again, I can kind of center that up on there. Okay. Now, I could also be a little fancy. Instead of doing a solid color, I can do a gradient. Okay, so I could do something like this, where it's got a little bit of shading to it. That kind of looks a little bit better already. Okay, um, maybe I want to show that there's you know fumes coming out of this bottle. So if I look in shapes, I've got all kinds of stuff. I could do a cloud, like a cloud of gas coming out of there. Do something like that. Could make it like a, a green color, like a green gas coming out of this container. And then it's kind of blocking my words a little bit. If you want um, something to sit on top of something else and it's not currently, you might notice that moving it around doesn't really help that. Um, instead, we have to kind of take it out and put it back in and then it'll land on top of everything else. So if I cut this and paste it back in, it'll land on top. So all I have to do is right click, cut and then right click paste, put it back, there it is, and now it'll be on top of the other stuff. Okay. Now I also just kind of don't want to cover this up, so I'm going to try and kind of put this off to the side a little bit. So it's not going to be totally centered, but that's okay, it doesn't have to be centered. Shrink up the box a little bit so it's easier to move. And I'm going to kind of put this off to the side over here. Oh. Lost my stuff, so I'm going to move that over with it. Again, land on the center, land on the center. Move that down a little bit. There you go, that's okay. I got this coming out of here. Okay, I can also rotate things with this little blue dot on top. So if I want it kind of coming out of there instead of just you know, floating out the side of the bottle. It's a little bit better. So there are all kinds of things you can do in Google Slides without just taking images from Google. Um, it's okay to take images from Google. Um, just make sure that, you know, you do have some of the poster that is 
you know, solely yours and is, is kind of, you know, in your own way creative, not just taking a bunch of stuff from Google. Okay. There can be a lot of good inspiration there. There can be a lot of good images, but um, try and make what you can. Now, right now, I've still got a lot of empty space here, so I might end up putting some other stuff in there. Maybe I'll make uh, a molecule or something, or, or I'll get a picture of it. Or maybe I'll get some other pictures of glassware I can put down here. I might split up this text into two little fun phrases, so that way I can put some here and some down here. Or maybe I can move the bottle over and put some of the text down here. I want to fill up the space. Okay. You can also change the background of your slide. Either by changing the color, again, solid or gradient, um, or you can just pick an image. You could have an image that goes all the way on the back of it. I like to do a pattern. So you can go find an image of a pattern. Um, you know, uh, one of the fun ones I do sometimes is a bowling alley carpet where it's that kind of gross looking neon blue and green and purple and stuff like that. Kind of makes it sort of retro and, and fun. Uh, it could be cool pattern you see on a towel or a blanket uh, or, you know, wallpaper or something like that. You can find all kinds of things um, that might be a little bit more fun than kind of the standard themes they give you over here. Okay, so all kinds of fun stuff you can do. Okay, in the end, when your poster is done, there's this button up here that says share. Okay, now if we go and do this and you say share and you just want to share it with me, that causes problems because it'll basically send me an email that I will lose. Um, I'll have, you know, like over a hundred um, different files shared to my Google Drive that I'm not going to be able to keep track of. So the easier way of doing this and, and the, the way we're going to do it on Schoology, um, down here where it says get link, you're going to copy that link there. And then you're going to paste it into Schoology. So I should have a little... Um, place you can um, submit the link I'll show you next. Okay, we're back on Schoology with the Unit 0 folder. Down here at the bottom, I've got this Unit 0 project rubric. Um, so if you want to go back and look at where your points are coming from, it's right there on Schoology. And also we've got this little puzzle piece down here where we're basically going to submit the link to our poster. Um, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to share the poster with me and, and having me try to find it. So um, if you do end up sharing it with me, make sure you also do this because this is where I'm going to be grading it on Schoology. This is where I'm going to be putting your grade. So I'm going to click on this. And for you guys, it's going to look something like this. We're going to start a new attempt. All right, once you've created your Google slide, post the link to your lab safety slide here. You can continue to edit it once you post the link. So whether you are done with your poster or not, um, this link is going to stay the same. So you can continue to edit it and fix it up um, until the due date when I go and check it. So um, if you're worried about you know, forgetting um, to submit the link, um, you, know, you might do it now while you're thinking about it. Um, before your lab slide is done, um, just so you know it's there, um, and then you can go back and continue editing and polishing up your poster until it's ready to go on the due date. Once you've got it, kind of paste it in there, just say review answers. And since I'm in kind of the teacher mode, um, I won't be able to you know, actually submit anything. So, but it'll ask if you're like, hey, is this what you want to do? And then you say submit. Um, and then uh, I will be able to check out your uh, lab safety poster and grade it and uh, give you some feedback.